Hello, gentlemen. Uh, this is Ray again. I have uh, been asked to do a video really quickly about uh, assignments, how to create an assignment, and also how to grade an assignment uh, and turn in using Blackboard. So let's do that now. So let's go to Blackboard, start from the top here, go to Blackboard, and then uh, you should be logged in. Go to your courses. And then you want to go to whatever course you want to set that assignment in, which in our case is 111. All right. And then we want to go to uh, learning materials. Okay. Now, within learning materials, you can click assessment. Okay. And here you can just click assignment. And you name the assignment, whatever you want. Let's call this testing English. 111 just a test right all right and then you write whatever the instruction is da 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 right and whatever your instructions are you can write there if you have a file that you that's on your computer or of this PDF whatever type of file that you want the students to look at you can do that uh, if you have it in storage that's for there uh, the due date you can set the due date here when you want the assignment completed um, and then the point total, whether it's going to be 25 points or 100 points, however you, however it is in the block book or in your scheme. If you want to add a rubric, you can uh, you can add a rubric here. Um, you can select a rubric. There's, there's rubrics that's maybe already in the system. Or you can create your own rubric here. It's a little tedious, but you can do it. You can just run there. Just click that and this will be the rubric. And... You, you can figure out, you know, how you want to set that rubric up. Um, and then submission details here, individual submissions. You can do group work if you do collaborative learning. Number of attempts if you want them to unlimited attempts, multiple attempts, you can, or just one attempt. Um, you can set it up. You can check for plagiarism within Safe, safe Assign. You can do that. Uh, grading options. Enable anonymous grading, enable delegated grade grading, display grades, whether you want the students to see the grades right away. You have all those options right there. Uh, make the assignment available. Right here is when is the assignment going to be available. Okay, so up here was the due date. Right here is when you want the assignment to be available. So the due date may be, let's say, April the 15th. Let's say April the fifteenth was a Wednesday. I'm not sure if it is or not. All right, but you're gonna. But the students have it from April the eleventh to April the fifteenth to turn it in. Okay. So and then and then um, so they could see it from the eleventh all the way up to the fifteenth. So display, or you want them to see it now all the way up to the fifteenth. However you want to do that. That's where you do that. There you could track how many times. Uh, students actually went to, went in you just click submit right and you just click submit let's see what is it saying here I didn't do something let's add a value oh point we didn't add a point value so I say it's gonna be out of hundred points all right and we click submit all right and then there we go we got an assignment all right and that assignment is right there and then you can put it in a folder if it's in week 11 you can you can move it however you want and that's an assignment okay I'll delete that let's go ahead and delete that so people don't get confused all right now the other question I got was how to grade a paper and turn it in well what I'll show you really quick is how to how to actually do a turn it in assignment so you go to turn it in direct for some apparent reason um, the turn it in assignment I don't think it's enabled for us because when I tried it um, it it didn't it wasn't it didn't allow me to go to the next step but turn it in direct did so let's do the same thing do testing Ray all right I can't spell my name and then you know for training purposes for training purposes I can't spell training this keyboard kills me for training purposes 
All right. And then you did the same deal almost as the other one. So your submission method and then the overall grade, how many points you want to make it, you can do that. Same thing like the, the assignment, your start date that you want to um, with students to actually work on it, and then the due date, and then the post date. So these are all different dates. So you want them to start it on April the on April the 11th, but you're gonna they can see it on the 10th, all right? And then it's due on the 15th, all right? So the start date is the April the 10th. The due date is the 15th, but they can look at the assignment. They won't be able to turn it in, but they look. You can look at the assignment on the on the 9th or the 10th. Okay, and then whatever exclusions you want to make, you know, the minimum value excluded. Big, you know, if you can exclude bibliography, basically, so you they don't it doesn't run certain types of reports. Same thing with quoted material. So when you get the report, it doesn't run. Enable grammar checker for you to help you out. Use grade mark, uh, paper repository, uh, to stand it. So basically, it grades against other papers. Check the internet. Obviously, you want to check the internet. Check it against journals. Grades, whether well, grades are turned in immediately. Ignore turning grades. You probably want to put no there. Assignment, report, uh, generate speed. So this is important here because basically this allows for one assignment to be turned in. Uh, so when they submit, rather, they, there's no resubmissions. All right. Um, so like, for instance, in my doctoral program, when we turn in an assignment, you can only turn it in one time. You have to actually call the professor to have them set it so you can return it in again. Here, this one, you can turn it in as, as many times you want up until the due date, right? And it says after three submissions, it's going to generate a report. And this, this one right here is just unlimited up until the due date. Okay, students can just resubmit. All right, so this one's one. Looks like this one's three, and this one's unlimited up until the due date. Um, and that's pretty much it. Rubric, if you have a rubric for turning it in, you can launch a rubric here if you want to get into that. Um, allow late foot submissions, yes. If you allow late submissions, it'll tell you that if the student turned it in late, it'll tell you the student turned it in late. Um, that, that's, that's the feature. Uh, you see that feature on Google Classroom. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, any other details uh, they used if you have special there used to be a, a key for special instructions but you would all put that special instructions here because I don't see a key uh, uh, sign or um, a place for special instructions and you just create the assignment right just create the assignment And then what it's going to do is going to create the assignment for you. Give it a second because it's creating the assignment. See my, my online here. Do, 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 you see here is testing rate that's when we labeled it and then this is all the students you know who would see it or whatever the case may be all right so what if you you wanted to turn you wanted to actually grade that assignment so uh, to grade that assignment you would go into to grade it again to grade it you would click uh, course tools you go into course tools okay got out of it uh, course tools and then you go to turn in assignments direct because remember we did this on a direct and then you scroll down and you see testing ray you click testing ray okay do 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 I use my cell phone internet is much faster than this 4G router okay and then um, let's see there's nothing no one turned it in because we just created that right so there's nothing to grade so let's go back and let's look at somebody else's work 
So let's go to course tools. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to turn it in direct assignments. And then let's go back to this compare and contrast. It's an older, old assignment. So we open that up. Do, 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 do. Open that up. Anytime you want to, Mr. Internet. There we go. All right. All right. So now you see here, students, obviously, this is an old assignment back in February. Students actually turned it in. Um, and you can pick, let's pick a student. Let's just pick this guy here. So you notice you can upload the submission, download. So let's just pick Rayon. Or, yeah, Rayon. And then we're going to view his document. All right. You can see whatever teacher, the teacher gave him an 85. All right. For his, all his work. 85 out of 100. All right. And I guess this was only for the, um, the outline and the, and the brainstorming. And you can leave comments by highlighting. All right. So you can, you can leave a comment. See if you, uh, let's see. Yeah, so in order to, let's say I wanted to make a comment here, all I gotta do is just highlight this, and then you just comment, and then type whatever comment, you know, great job. I don't wanna, because I don't want the student to see this, but you put great job, you know, ask a question, whatever the case may be. All right, you know, delete that. But that's, and then you would put the grade here, all right? And then if you want to go to the next submission, you can go to the next submission, which will be the next student, Zayed, and then uh, Sammy, and you can grade like that. So that's how you can turn your grades in or turn it in. I hope this helps someone. Um, in many ways, it works similar to Google Classroom, if you're familiar with Google Classroom. So hopefully, this video was a little bit longer, but I showed you several things here. Um, not necessarily uh, I did this to um, to respond to someone's request but also um, you know these are the things we should be looking at and exploring for next school year because there's a huge possibility that a portion of what we do next year will be online regardless of, of any uh, type of event that may present may or may not present itself next year it looks like with online is the future for the business that we partake in. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Uh, and I pray for you and your family.